evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Tuesday, 20th July, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, highlights beats Brownhill in friendly, and in our feature for this evening, it's back to the football archives. Charleston Primary versus Maud Cross Prep 2014. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. Travel has become an essential part of our daily lives. We look forward to our annual leave so that we can go to that exotic destination we dream about all year. Even though we had to deal with heavy security guidelines and restrictions, this has never hampered our ability or desire to move around. Today, COVID-19 has placed major restrictions and protocols on how we approach travel. I still wish to travel, and I'm sure many people out there still wish to travel. However, it is our duty to be responsible while traveling. Practice safety guidelines at home and during your travels so that we all can remain safe. A safer Nevis depends on you. Cheers. Well, I'm back and we start with athletics. The opening ceremony is Friday and the first competitions are Wednesday. But organizers of the Tokyo Olympics, delayed one year by the pandemic, are struggling to manage public anxiety about the Games after a cluster of coronavirus cases that threaten to overshadow the festivities. As about 20,000 athletes, coaches and referees and other officials have poured into Japan in recent days, more than two dozen of them have tested positive for the virus, including three cases within the, Olymp within the Olympic Village. An additional 30 free staff members or contractors who are Japanese residents working on the Games have tested positive. The United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee confirmed on Monday that an alternate on the women's gymnastics team had tested positive for the coronavirus while in training in Tokyo. Despite being vaccinated, Kara Ika, 18, of Green Valley, tested positive early Monday and began a 10 to 14 day quarantine, her coach Al Fong said in a text message. Later that day, he added, she feels fine. Olympic organizers have said their measures, including repeated testing, social distancing and restrictions on movement, would limit but not eliminate coronavirus cases. The Games originally scheduled for 2020 were postponed by a year in the hopes that the pandemic would have eased and they would have had a triumphant return to normalcy. Now to cricket. Mikhail Louis warmed up for CPL 21 with a smashing 77 not out as Highlights International engaged Brownhill in a friendly match on Sunday 18 July. This as sporting activities make a gradual return to the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis after a pause due to the ongoing COVID-19 crisis. The match was played at the Eatewillet Park. Brownhill won the toss and batted first and could only muster 115 all out in 19.2 overs despite having several power hitters in their lineup. Then came the Mikhail Louis show. He smashed 12 fours and two maximums in just 44 balls. He teamed up with his brother Jeremiah to ensure that the target was overhauled in just 13 overs. Summarized scores, Brownhill 115 all out in 19.2 overs, Delroy Cornelius 22, Kedgel Tyson 19, Kenron Freeman 13. Tyler Nisbet 2 for 5, R. Eddie 2 for 13, Jeremiah Louis 2 for 21, Amory Jones, Mikhail Louis, and Adrian Williams 1 wicket each. Highlights 118 for 2 in 13, Mikhail Louis 77, Jeremiah Louis 26 not out, Trishon Francis 1 for 20, Tiger Brown 1 for 39, highlights 1 by 8 wickets. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening.
Well, I'm back, and tonight football is in the spotlight, and we're going to the archives. The year is 2014, November the 11th to be exact. Charleston Primary is engaging the Mod Cross Prep in a must-win match to get them into the finals. Let's take in some of the action. The score is one to nil. One goal to nil. Chance on prime primary has already gotten one goal. And we are watching this very keen contest because it's all about getting into the finals. One team already in Ivor Walters establishing a five to one dropping over St. Thomas's yesterday. And already in the A division finals. In terms of the B division, it's St. James's for the first time. Historically. And they'll be coming up against the uh, Teresa Powell trying to get some semblance of order here. Getting the coach back from the, from the line. Alan Tucker will be taking the point. Patrice is good trying to turn. Still trying to do a solo run. He drives into it, does Andy. Here's the defense for Sipis, getting it. He's, he's trying to run to take him out there. Alan Tucker can't get his foot around it. Now he's running the left flank. Here he goes, pushes off now. And the whistle goes. Outside whistle probably. And uh, no good on that occasion. Come here, come here. Yankee, just about getting a touch on it. And you could see um, the Charleston Prep School, the Mod Cross Prep School, is very well represented here this afternoon. The cheerleader is very quiet at this time. But normally if a goal is for any more time. Drive it home hard enough. And if you look at Cook and LKB, these two guys are really hyped up. And I hope that their team doesn't lose. <laughs> really hyped up here. So. He goes now. We have a corner kick for Chanson Primary. Corner kick. Drives in trade. The goalkeeper parries it. And this is the danger. Very quick. You can't untuck it. Very quick. Across the turf. Not very nice. Can he control it? Knocks it forward. Still, Marvin Hadiyanki doesn't do much. He's headed out by the chance of primary player. Ziggy predicted five goals to nil. He's at the far end. And must be remembering what he said yesterday. Can't untuck it. A bit of a dummy. And uh, lost it very easily. Won it back and lost it again. So the ball goes out. Tries to take it away from him very easily. So, not clearing the players at all. And, uh, pass the defense now. He's clear on the left flank. Hit him forward, drives it through. School. They're just walking up. They're giving some encouragement here. Have some of the supporters for the Mod Cross Prep team here. Um, your team is behind right now. How y'all are feeling? Bad, bad, bad. bad. Huh? You think y'all would have done better? Yes. 
you're going to support your team, right? Yes! Let's go, Marcus. Let's go. Well, we are about to resume. We are about to resume. It's the second half. Marcus prep down by two. Chance some prep up by two. It's two to nil. Remember, Ziggy Newton predicted five to nil yesterday. He is very much around the edges there giving instructions. But um, we'll have to wait and see what the final scoreline will be. Chance some primary. Setting up the play here. And uh, Andy couldn't control it. It goes out. So two goals to nil so far. And uh, the Mod Cross prep team under pressure once more. Well, the whistle goes. And Kerisha Powell indicating high kick. And that's not the approved type of play. And so it's going to be Carlon Tuckett with a free kick. Two goals to nil in favor of CPS. Chips it nicely. The goalkeeper is out, grabs onto it. And uh, Patrice Nesbitt rushing him there, but there was no fumble. Here goes now, drives into it, tries to head, cannot control. The man behind chips it nicely. Hali Yankee swings into it. This time he makes connection. Knees it nicely there. Carlon Tuckett controls. Passes off to Andy. Andy pushes forward. Defended nicely there by Charles Long. Hali Yankee again, getting a boot onto it. A little bit of a knee, a little bit of a mix up there with um, Andy. And uh, trying to charge some primary, trying to turn. He's free. He's open. He drives into it. And uh, off target. So off target. He really had a lot of space on that occasion, but he just turned and drove into it. Garland took it, doesn't control. Here's Nisbet. Ball is going forward. Here is once more. He's open once more. Can he drive? He's open. He's gone clear. Drives it into the far corner. And look at the style. Look at the style. He has driven it. Left boot and all. Make that three to nil. Somersault. And the three goals to zip. That's the scoreline. Maud Cross prep under pressure here. Another goal, it's the same youngster. Same youngster. Look at the celebrations. He's really doing a number here. And that's four. Four. So Ziggy said five. We have had four. Um I'm I'm here with Ziggy. Ziggy, you did predict um you did predict five. Five, five. You you changing your mind? No, no, five still, five still, five still. Five still. One more, one more. One more. <laughs> well Ziggy predicted five. Mod cross prep though might have other ideas yet, but it has been a really comprehensive victory here so far. Well, it's not quite a victory as yet, but really they're dominating this game big time. Charleston Primary, the drizzle subsides slightly as it's Patrice Nisbet knocking it back, and that was a very bad move there by Patrice Nisbet, apparently forgetting, and he pushed him away from the ball. Drives into it now off target. The goalkeeper does badly. He touched it, so it's going to be a corner kick. Very poor work that time by the goalie. And um, that's um, going to be a corner kick. Hmm? <laughs> Here he goes now. So it's going to be a corner kick. The players for the Mod Cross Prep not properly placed at all. And the drizzle again increasing slightly. And here it is, right in front of the goal. He tries to get off the left booter, doesn't quite get it off. Still in that danger area, still very much in that danger area, but it's cleared just for the moment. He's going to try to turn now. And uh, here goes. They need to clear the danger. They're not doing very well at clearing the danger. Finally, somebody gets a big left boot onto it. 
But he's still back with Charleston Primary. Trying to hook his way forward. Carlton Tucker takes it off him. Knocks it forward. Driven nicely. That defender has played well all afternoon. The little youngster. And he has played very well indeed. And here goes now. And we're trying to get an umbrella. So it's going to be a goal kick. Drives into it now. Charleston Prime again controlling. Carlin Tuckett hasn't really been able to get free all afternoon. They have been depending on Patrice Nesbitt, who looks a bit tired, really. And the ball now free on the right flank. He's going to get it across, but Andy stops it for the moment. He's trying to get free. Can't. Well, he's still, well, not free. Nisi Dasset is the scorer of those goals. He has played really well for the Charles and Primary. And he's going to be throwing now for Charles and Primary. He's on the offensive once more. Oh, he tries to head it. That's the same Kenisi Dasset. He just didn't latch onto it. And out of view. And now he drives into it. But good response there by Patrick Sisbe. Going up top. The little young man. He has played really well. Carlin Tuckett is free on the right flank, is he? He's been challenged. It's going to be taken off him or he's trying to shield it. Two men on him. Nobody there to help him. He's still with the ball. Just for the moment, it has been knocked out. It's going to be a corner kick. And the rain has subsided for the moment. Close to reaction. He's going to drive into that. There's a goalkeeper. He's struggling slightly. But it's a way off target. But driving from about midfield on that occasion, Dorset. And he has certainly played very well so far. Four, still. Four goes to zip. There's the score line. I think the time is running out on the Mark Cross prep to pull off America. There you go. On the left flank. Passes off nicely. Carlin took it. Stop, stop. Here's the youngster trying to keep it in. Ball's over. He's going to lose it. And Willie was telling them to take it off with him. But he's been trying to go through. Stopped in the process. Somehow they can't get past the defense on this time. Not good work by the defensive player from North Cosper. Swinging the left boot and missing out on it. He goes now. Tassum Primary still with the ball. Trying to set up the plan the right flank. Knocked out by the prep school player. That seems to be their modus operandi for the next couple of minutes. They're going to keep the ball out of play. We have another substitution. So will it? Exposing some of the other players before the finals. That's enough. He drives in third missiles. And he just releases the left footer. We are, of course, we are target. So, four goals to nil. Maybe Ziggy won't get his five. I think the moments are running out on this game. Yeah. Right? Okay, try to set up the change. Somebody is at the top, but he's not the quickest of at least. And uh, taken away nicely by the chance of the player. Female there gets a no, she didn't quite get a boot on trade. Had a Yankee drove at it, but didn't do very well. So still, not doing very well. And uh, that some primary. That's the team that's doing well. Too hard. No direction on that occasion. Here's a young lady getting a ball through the legs of the opponent. Now drives into it. This one will be out the ball. Richie, 
End of the game. Charleston Primary has won. There are no major celebrations here, but it's four goals to nil. Four goals to nil. And tough luck for the Mod Cross Prep School. They would be a little sad, but the happy folks, they're not really showing that they're happy. They'd be saying they're leaving that for the finals. I'm with Tijari. He's the captain of the Charleston Primary School team. You have made it into the finals. What's the feeling like right now, Tijari? Feel good. Ah. Expect to give them 10. You expected to give them 10. So you're a little bit disappointed that it's only four. No, feel good, feel good. You feel still. good still. Okay. You're going to be coming up against the um, Ivor Walters Primary School. I saw them play yesterday. They're not going to be an easy walkover. What are your thoughts? They're going to be an easy walkover, man. They're going to be an easy okay. walkover. And are you going to make any predictions? How yeah. many? Um, I think I'll be going to go to sale. No, how many goals? Four. Four <laughs> nil as well? Yeah. So you only could count 40, Jerry? No. <laughs> but you got to stick to four. Play it safe. All right, let me talk to the coach. Elko, um, every year. He, yeah, actually I spoke to Mr. Newton yesterday. And he predicted five nil. So he got pretty close. He got close. <laughs> so I'm not going to talk to him today. But Elko, almost every year, you manage to get a team, if not in the final. Well, I think he's in the finals, if not the victorious team. Um, what's the secret? Well, if, if you know these boys, they live, they eat, they drink football. So <laughs> expect them to do well. And over the years, you know, it's been like that. The fellas really love their football. And Every break they, get, they play football. And it seems to me like you have a good succession plan in place. Meaning, when the bigger ones go, the smaller ones come up and they're all ready to go. Yeah, well, I noticed a number of the great three boys have been showing some interest in the football. So, that is going to put us in good stead for the future. We have a few grade fivers here and one or two grade fours. And there are a couple of grade five boys who we could have put in the squad, but we didn't. So we have players in reserve there. So we, we're going to be good for another two, three years. Okay, Tijari has made his prediction for the finals. What are your predictions for the big finals against Ivor Walters Primary, who incidentally are the champs, right? Defending champions. Your thoughts? Well, I expect to win. I'm not going to say it's a 2-0 or 3-0 or, you know. You know, sports are funny. You know, sports is a funny thing, eh? But I'm expecting to win. Comfortably, Comfortably. But I, I wouldn't call a score. Okay. <laughs> but, but it should be a good game, I think. It should be a good game. I haven't seen them for the year. But they're, they're, they're looking I, I, pretty I, I, good. I, I know. Yeah. Judging from last year, that's some pretty good players. And I don't think all the good players would have left. Right. You know. Okay. So I expect a good game, but I think I'm going to win comfortably. Once my fellas you know, play their best game, we should win comfortably. Well, I see Ziggy shaking in his boots at the far end, but um, I think he, he still feels pretty comfortable. Guys, what are you going to do for the finals? Win! All right, congratulations, all right? Well, that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you are not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.